I want to talk about a couple of things that you can do to increase your privacy on the web and maybe reduce the clutter that you get when you go to a web page. So we're going to be looking at three particular items here. So it's a big bad web out there. There's a lot of people that are after your information, uh, after your privacy, want to sell you things, uh, perhaps things that you don't want or don't need. So uh, how are they doing these things? What, what some of the techniques that they're using out there to try to coerce you to do some things? Well, there are things called tracking cookies. And when you go to a website, uh, your browser may also download a tracking cookie uh, that will tell other websites where you've been, what your browsing history is, so that they can also present, prevent present you with uh, the appropriate ad. So if I were to make a mistake and go one day to uh, Victoria's Secret website, who knows, for the next three or four days, I'm probably getting a Victoria's Secret ads showing up on all the different websites I go to. There's also malicious software out there. There can be plugins for Firefox that let people grab your sessions uh, if it's an unencrypted session so they can track what you're doing, or even uh, hijack that session. And then there's uh, unwanted ads, a lot of the ads that we get on websites that we just as soon do without. Now, this illustration is from a uh, 1897 Sears and Roebuck catalog, but guess what? That uh, bust cream is still around today. It's just a little newer packaging. So we're going to look at three different uh, technologies, three different things that you can do. Uh, two of them are browser plugins, and one is a service that you can install and run on your laptop. We're going to be looking at HTTPS everywhere. This comes from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. We're also going to be looking at Privacy Badger, which also comes from the EFF. And we're looking at Provoxy, uh, which is a non-caching privacy enhancing uh, proxy that you run on your local machine. So we'll first look at HTTPS everywhere. This is a very simple pro plugin. Uh, it's available for most of the uh, popular browsers. When you install that plugin, and it comes from the Electronic Frontier Foundation in cooperation with, with the uh, Tor uh, project, it by default gives you the encrypted version of a web page if that uh, version is available. So it's going to always attempt to give you the HTTPS page that uh, is with an encrypted connection. And this can have a number of advantages. One, if you're on an unsecure network like this wireless network that I'm on at the moment, that means that Everything you do isn't as publicly available on that network as it might be if it was unencrypted. It also has the advantage, it makes it much more difficult to hijack a session. So there's a, a plugin for Firefox called Fire Sheep, which will uh, steal a session cookie, and you could possibly lose control of an account that way. So how does this work? It uses clever technology, as, as shown by this uh, SKCD cartoon. It uses regular expressions. Privacy Badger is also from the EFF. This is also a plugin, and it's available for both Chrome and Firefox. Chromium, if you're not familiar with Chromium, this is the free open source project that uh, Google sponsors to create the Chrome web browser. It doesn't have the extra features that they add in and the extra tracking that they add in. So the purpose of a Privacy Badger is to block tracking cookies. This shows a, a web page here, and on the right-hand side, you can see uh, the menu that shows when you click on the Privacy Badger icon. And this gives you the ability to control uh, the tracking cookies. Some of them may be cookies that are being blocked but are actually necessary for the use of the page. Most of them are probably tracking cookies. You can see exactly where that cookie is coming from. For example, double click 
and you can control whether you want that cookie blocked or whether you want to unblock it. So let's explain what a proxy is. In the case of our uh, Privoxy here, this is a proxy service that runs on your local computer. And instead of your browser going out directly to the internet and connecting to a website, it will be redirected to a port on the local host on your own uh, computer. And then the proxy that's running on that computer will go out and fetch the page for the browser. This means that Provoxy can make modifications to that page. If there are iframes or other uh, bits and pieces of that page that uh, a proxy will auto, uh, Provoxy will automatically block, uh, those won't be delivered to you. So you'll get a lot less junk on the page itself. You can also customize Provoxy. I should mention that it, it's an outgrowth of a much earlier project called uh, the Internet Junk Busters. This comes from the 1990s, uh, where uh, you could do things like modify your host file to uh, prevent a lot of the early ads and things from showing up. So it is available uh, for most distributions. Uh, I show here installing it from the command line on Ubuntu. It's in the universe repository, so you first need to add in that repository so you can actually see the contents of it. And then once you've added that repository in, you'll be able to search and you'll find that Provoxy will be there. And then it's just a matter of installing it uh, using apt-get install Provoxy. On Ubuntu, once you do that, it's already set up, it's ready to go. The only thing you need to do is you need to configure Firefox to use the proxy rather than go directly to the web. So there's going to be two settings on Ubuntu. One is uh, the system proxy, and you can set this there using the manual settings. And then for HTTP and HTTPS, you're going to set the host to localhost or 127.0.0.1, and then the default port number that Provoxy uses is going to be 8118. Once you set that up, then you want to go over to Firefox and look at the advanced tab under uh, the settings and make sure that the proxy setting is set to use the proxy on uh, the system proxy. Uh, when I tested it this afternoon on uh, 1404 LTS, that was the default setting. So it will automatically uh, pick up the, uh, the system proxy. And then once you've done that, uh, you can run netstat, for example, here. And you can see that you do have uh, port 8118. Uh, there's, a, it's a, there's a HTTP service that's listening on that port. So your web request will now first go to Provoxy, and then will go out to the web. The, request, the page that comes back will be modified by Provoxy to pull out ads and such. It, it does a nice job with the basic settings. Uh, but you can also go into the configuration file, and you can change uh, settings so that it can, you can tweak uh, what it uh, removes. Uh, you can change it to a different port if you want. So you can make some changes there. So these are the three things that you can very simply do. The first two, HTTPS and Privacy Badger, are very easy to uh, install. They're plugins for uh, Firefox, so they're very simple to install. And they don't require any settings. Uh, Provoxy does require a little bit of work to set up, and uh, it, you can tweak it. Uh, so uh, uh, it might uh, need a little bit of adjustment.